So Alpha Investment, he is on record for saying he is losing about half a million to a million dollars depending on what set Amazon is dumping. Amazon prices, which I'm going to show you, are cheaper than distributor prices. So if you are a local game store, a WPN store, you do everything Wizard of Coast tells you to do, you still do not get Amazon prices, which are you know, include free shipping, there's no other attachments, there's no minimals that you have to order. Amazon is by far the cheapest place to buy Magic the Gathering cards in definitely the U.S. People will say, oh, Amazon return policy, oh, Amazon scammers. I've never had an issue with Amazon. Uh, if they need it to be returned, they will return it. I mean, I've had things stolen from me from my FedEx guy, and they will, Amazon is the one who makes it right, even if FedEx will not. FedEx sucks, by the way. So here, uh, as in every Amazon Prime Day, people ask me when, where are these prices you're getting them from. Today, tomorrow, I'm making this video very, very recently because I wanted to talk about Alpha Investments video. A lot of people have asked me to make a, another a, a response to it. You're never going to be Amazon. Doesn't matter if you're a Rudy Patron paying ten dollars, a hundred dollars a month. Amazon will dump. Uh, they're dump, dumping Dominaire United below distribution, collector's edition set, draft, commander decks. Uh, I even saw a Pharaoh's Dungeons and Dragons book, which cost me twenty eight dollars to buy, and they were selling it for like twelve bucks on Amazon. Twenty eight is what it cost me as a store to buy it. So there you go. I mean, yeah, yeah. if you want to know how bloody things are, go to Amazon Prime page. It's uh, ridiculous. Uh, this is also Amazon Prime does not have Pokemon sales. I checked. Trust me, people would buy them. Like, If Pokemon had the same sales on Amazon that Magic had, I think it could do 10 times, 20 times the amount of volume. But Pokemon isn't about that Amazon lifestyle, right? Rudy looks depressed. He is sad. He's said that per set, he's losing half a million to a million dollars. These sets will continue to be dumped and dumped and dumped. I think I saw, what was it? New Compenna. Was it a draft or a set for like $80, $70 maybe? Maybe $60? At some point in time, like, you know, you look at the prices and it just, it's like, oh my God. You know, I'm going to show you the prices later. There is no store in America that can compete against Amazon Prime pipe pricing because they're not buying it for the same price. They're buying it cheaper. They have a relationship with Hasbro that, simply put, no store in America has that same relationship. And because simply I mean, the volume Amazon sells and not just magic cards, Hasbro toys. The volume Amazon sells in toys is equivalent to probably every store in America combined times 20. So here we have Stixhaven set at 80. Distribution is 9.93. We have draft at 66. Distribution was 90. And oh, by the way, Strixhaven happened to be a few years ago. Adventures in the Forgotten Realms collector booster box at 101. Midnight Hunt at 101 and a single Midnight Hunt booster collector pa pack at 10 bucks and good packaging. I mean, you look at this and you just kind of say, wow, these prices are lower. These prices, uh, the Streets of New Compenna collector booster box 105, last Amazon Prime a year ago, I bought it at 110. I thought that was a steal. <laughs> it's actually cheaper as more time passes by Amazon makes it cheaper and cheaper I thought I got a good deal in the collector box but uh, I mean I thought 110 I bought a few at 110 and now this year a year later it's 105 what the heck you know and then you buy these commander boxes you buy the Battle for Baldur's Gate collector booster box I mean they're 100 bucks a lot of these thingamajigs are 100 dollars it's a blood bath, and 
yeah, alpha investments getting aft. I'm getting aft. I've been aft. Uh, you gotta get out. You gotta investing in these boxes. I don't care what alpha investment says. It's not viable. Collector's edition not viable. Like they go down in price. They're still selling mother effing Strixhaven for sixty six dollars a box. How are you gonna invest? Uh, Baldur's Gate fifty nine sixty four. Dominary United at 88 lower than distribution or you get six of them for the low low price Commander legend Just disgustingly low prices on infinity. I don't know why anyone would buy game night or thought of a good deal was going on There is no Investment opportunity my friends. This is magic the gathering. This is Amazon Every Amazon Prime, there is a dump. People ask me, where do you see the prices? I'm in the middle of September, and I don't see the prices. You mother effing idiot. You know Amazon Prime is going to have a sale. You wait for the sale, and you buy your year supply today. You're getting prices 20% below distribution in some cases. It's wild. Bye, guys.